Mary Bazoktime, an 85-year-old charcoal seller, lost her livelihood to a fire that devastated the entire Ekomok area at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. Now, she and her grandchildren are left with nothing without a roof over their heads. I've been here for more than 40 years. I am here to sell the few bags of charcoal I have left so that no one can steal them. I sleep here all night. God is the one caring for me. Coupled with a knee problem, it has been a tough time for her to get her life back together. She hopes to be allowed to rebuild her structure to hold body and soul together. I lost everything to the fire. The boys helped me save some bags of charcoal when the fire was raging, but I still lost over 100 bags. I would love to rebuild my tent, but if they don't allow me, I will return home. Thirty-eight-year-old Joyce Tema, devastated by the fire, lost almost all her belongings. She tells me that the clothes she is washing are the only items she was able to salvage. I could only save these clothes. It hasn't been easy for us here. We are struggling to find a place to lay our heads. Now, figuring out how to take care of my child at school is a major concern. I need money. She hopes some compensation will come her way to help her return to normalcy. Residents have been instructed not to rebuild the structures here due to the danger posed by exposed electricity cables. The area has been cordoned off to prevent residents from rebuilding. However, Upon observation, a few structures have been erected. The fire engulfed and swept through the entire area in the blink of an eye. Residents remain deeply worried. Residents here in Ekomok are still down in the dams. Most of them are still struggling to get their lives back together. Auntie Mary, who I have been speaking to, has indicated that she has no home to lay her head after the fire incident ripped off her entire structure. She has to sleep here all night battling mosquito bites which is not really favorable for her aside her quite a number of people here in Ekomok are still battling to get places where they can lay their heads down they have been told not to mount their temporary structures here again and this was an announcement by the Greater Accra Regional Minister Titus Glover they are hoping that a place will be given to them so they can get their lives back together again on Wednesday, June 5, 2024, the fire destroyed wooden structures near the railway line, causing a power outage in Adabraka, Newtown and surrounding areas. This is the second fire in that area in two years, following a similar incident in February 2022 that led to an unsuccessful evacuation order. Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News, Accra.